Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again. And we're reviewing a beer tonight that I've been meaning to review for forever. This, my friends, is from Founders. This is their Breakfast Stout, which is a double chocolate coffee oatmeal stout coming at 8.3% alcohol by volume, 60 IBUs. Um, actually, to contrary belief, this is not the base for KBS. Um, I actually thought that for the longest time, and I found out definitely KBS is its own beast entirely. This also isn't their Imperial Stout. Um, flavored with chocolate and coffee. This is a completely separate beer that they brew up um, once a year. And uh, yeah, so without me blabbering on anymore, let me get into the glass that you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give me the verdict on Founders Breakfast Stout. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Founders Breakfast Stout. Well, again, it's that classic Imperial Stout, dark as night, just pulling the light out of the room. Looks awesome in this glass, shining it through the light, no light getting through. Head was about a finger's worth of a khaki, you know, espresso colored head on there. Nice big bubbles around the edge, tight bubbles in the middle, carbonation. Definitely coming off the side of the glass. There is some nice head lacing on there. Lots of alcohol legs on this one. Wow, yeah, big one. So, you know, again, it's just a classic, great looking Imperial Stout. All right, so the aroma on the Founders Breakfast Stout. Massive chocolate, coffee, roasted notes. Definitely a sweetness in there from the alcohol. There's a slight touch of like a vanilla kind of sweetness coming through. Milk chocolate, um, definitely huge, massive, massive espresso qualities coming through. Yeah, it blends so nicely. It smells exactly how you think a breakfast stout should smell. All right, to the taste on the Founders Breakfast Stout. Cheers. Right at the front of the tongue, huge bitterness from the dark chocolate, espresso, coffee bitterness in there. Middle of the mouth, roasted notes. Feels like silk just coating your mouth. Um, the sweetness starts to come through from like a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate. Blends with the big, big coffee flavors in this one. Uh, it's a, a semi-sweet finish. Aftertaste is just all coffee. Big espresso notes, cappuccino kind of sweetness in there. There's a slight vanilla aftertaste, big milk chocolate, dark chocolate. It's just a huge chocolatey coffee flavored beer. Um, and no one flavor really gets the upper hand. They really come together in a harmonious kind of easy to drink beer. 8.3%, you don't really taste the alcohol at all. But what is there, it helps to kind of cut the, the coffee flavor and kind of mellow it out a little bit. So it's a very well balanced, awesomely crafted beer. Just great stuff. Guys, I gotta give this one an A. This is one of my favorite beers. One of my beers that I try to have a, I get a case of and it lasts me the entire year. It's just an easy to drink yet intense beer. Lots of chocolate, lots of coffee. But again, never, no one really, none of that flavor really overwhelms the other. And they all come together to do this awesome, awesome, easy drink beer. And it's really great stuff. If you haven't had it, I highly recommend it. It's a perfect example of what an oatmeal stout should taste like, what coffee in a stout should taste like, and what chocolate in a coffee stout should taste like. It's just a perfect, perfect beer for those flavors. And it works really well. Lives up to the name Breakfast Stout. I could drink five of these for breakfast. I wouldn't be able to do anything, but you could do it. So with that said, guys, remember life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.